Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Let's see if we can rescue ourselves an Earth Crystal and trade it to get Rosa back. Let's head, head over to the Metallic Cave, but wait up, what's this? Yeah, we really can't land our airship there, so whatever shall we do? Hold on. Yeah, let's get everybody equipped. Hold up, I'm forgetting something. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'll keep them on, because usually you want to keep your headband, because um, if you check in a on actual status of certain characters, um, sometimes if they get a high enough attack, it'll increase their attack multiplier, which is more important than just having base attack. Um, yeah, let's head over here, because I uh, like a doofus, I kind of forgot something over here, so let's head right here. Back to the town of Mist. Well, well at least there's a pal and they won't recognize me and remember all the naughty things I did. If you head here, secret passage time for some treasure. Gold hairpin. Very good piece of equipment for later in the game. I actually have a female that can use it. And right now we're just rocking four dudes, so. Here we get the Rod of Change. Yeah. This is really good for Tella. I think if you use this item, it can actually cast like Polymorph or something like that, but I don't know. I never use it. I just use it for the stat boost, really. Couple more items you can get here. Um, a couple more bad memories, to be honest. I can't believe I actually put that here. Yeah, you can actually find bomb cores here because of what happened with the. Yeah. Nice little touch. Alright. I think that's all the bomb cores here. Now, there's a little bit of treasure here, a little bit of um, an item shop, but the items here are not worth your time. I wouldn't do anything. Alright, let's head over here. Let's hop in our airship and try to figure out a way to get into the metallic cave. Metallic cave? A metal cave? Yeah. Let's head up here because I did notice an interesting little formation of trees. Right, here we have a new enemy, death flower and treants. Wait a metal caves, death flowers? This place is pretty metal. I like metal. Always have. Alright. Yeah, let's hit it with a bio. Never go wrong with Bio. God, that that cast time and non-elemental damage is just so good. All right, gain a couple levels for Sid and Cecil. Always good. Right, yeah, see, that was a unique little formation. And what do we have here? A new Chocobo village. First things first, Cecil, heal bot. Because as we all know, in almost every Chocobo village, there's a white Chocobo. He can return all your MP, which is really nice. But wait up. There's some different colored chocobos here. A black chocobo? Yeah. Sorry, viewers, but I have to stand in the magnificent glory of new chocobo music. Yeah. I love me some chocobo music. Ah, never gets old. People ask me, why do you play JRPG so much? Why? Nostalgia, gameplay, and tunes like this. Yeah! Hooah! Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's make our way over to the cave. Ah, sorry about that, but it just this makes me smile. Into the magnetic cavern. Eric Lyncher, is that you in here? No, no, that's a different franchise. Wait up, so I can't equip anything metal. Claws are okay, but yeah. This is where this is this becomes either one of the, your most loved dungeons or most hated. And you basically want to turn Cecil into a heal bot. And you definitely this is where you want to keep those ruby rings, because they're not metallic. Headbands, wooden hammers, ruby rings. So basically, Tell is going to be your damage dealer as well as Yang. The only thing he's going to lose is a little bit of defense. Sid is Sid, and yeah, Cecil is basically your healer now. I kind of like it. It's a bit different. Here we have some new enemies. Hell Needles and Kate Seeth. Not as bad as the other um, enemy with the same sprite. But um, still a pain in the butt because he can still use Blaster. 
but it has a higher chance of just paralyzing you rather than just causing complete instant death. These Hell Needles, if you don't kill them in one shot, they'll counterattack. It's more of annoying. I warn you, I will be running from a lot of these battles. Um, mainly because they're just really annoying. It take a little while and I don't know, I just don't like it. See, Tell is going to be your damage dealer. I hate seeing someone like Cecil, who's been your straight up damage dealer DPS tank, being regulated to heal duty. It's a little bit demoralizing, especially for a main character. Okay, Yang, there you go. Kung Fu fighting time. Alright. Oh, and get a gold needle in case we ever stone. Healing. Let's go get some treasure. Eh, high potion. Eh, better than nothing, I guess. Make our way down here. What do we have? Yeah, I've already fought this battle. I'm out of here. Peace! One thing I like about this version of the game is as soon as somebody's ATB is uh, fully um, filled up, you actually have a almost 100% chance of successfully running away. Oh, here we have a new enemy, Ogres. Um, it's a little trick to being these Ogres, especially in this version of the game. Um, once you get to tell his turn, like previously, if you can get many on them, they become a real pushover. Good thing is, Ogres have a pretty good chance of dropping not only Bacchus, I mean, giving Bacchus wines later in the game, but they can drop giant's gloves, which are really good. If you get them, equip them later. They're really nice. I wouldn't equip them now because, if I'm not mistaken, they are metal. So, yeah, not necessarily a good thing. But later on, they will become very, very useful if you can get one to drop. Oh, rare drop. So, if you want to farm for it, I'd wait till after this dungeon so you can actually have your full gear on. But if you want to, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Little Osmosis. Wow. All my MP back. Thank you, Ogre. Should be enough to... Uh, come on, Sid. Hammer time. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yang gains a level. Nice. Let's see what's in this treasure. A unicorn horn. Probably never use. Stupid phone. Don't you just love those phone calls you get that just... They're either these scam artists that you you know it come, literally comes up as scam alert, yet you still answer it. Oh, you're another new enemy. Dave Nagas. Kind of an L enemy. Not terrible. Just more annoying than anything. Yep, same thing. Just mini the ogre. You guys you all know, little ogres are not that much of a problem. But big ogres, they can be problematic. Little healing... Just keep your HP up. This dungeon's really not that bad. It's more of you either enjoy it for the tactics or you just hate it because it's really annoying. Alright, the healing staff. Ugh. The healing staff was so much better in other versions of the game. I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, that's just Osmos. Let's go back to maximum MP. Now this ogre, he can't undo that many status. He's just gonna do one damage. He's let's get back to as full up as he can. This should be. Come on, let's see if I can get a giant's glove to drop. That would be nice. Baby healing. Oh no, glitch in the matrix. Glitch in the matrix. Ugh. Poof. Winning that battle, we just get some XP and money. No Giant's Glove. That gummit. So in this treasure, we get an Ether. Yeah, they may become useful later on. Now, not so much. Ugh. Oh, we're out of here. I, I just don't. I fought these enemies before. I don't want to fight anymore. Peace. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, treasure. Treasure, treasure. You get an Ether. Yeah. See what's in this box. Come on. He's out. And here we get a little bit more money. Hey, nothing wrong with money, especially in this game. Money is always a valuable thing in this game. Head over here. Ugh, really? Oh, turn to strike. Let's just beat these poor kitties up. Smash them. 
battle. So good. Poof. Yay! For winning that battle, we just gained some more XP, nothing else. Blarg. Alright. Hey, this was in that room. Open the door? Eh, it's a save point. I mean, if you're low on HP or anything, you use a tent to save. I'm doing pretty good, so eh, I won't worry about it. Let's see here. Ooh, there's another room. What could be in here? More Kate Seath. You were annoying in Final Fantasy VII, and you're just as annoying now. Thank you. Alright. Let's just bio him. Bio, bio, bio. Poo. And we get a level? Oh, so close. Ooh, treasure. What do we got? High potion. Alright. Spider silk. Nice. Hourglass. They've kind of used up the usefulness. I mean, I may use them later on, but really you want them for that little. Oh gosh, three ogres. Holy crap. Run away. <laughs> Run away. I mean, you could try multi targeting mini and get through that fight, but. Once you start multi-targeting with mini, its effectiveness becomes really, really reduced, so... I rather like single-targeting just because I know it'll stick. And there are times you need it to stick. And here we get the Fairy Claw. Nice. The thing about the Fairy Claw is it's effective against giant-type enemies. Which, right now, you're going to actually encounter some giant-type enemies. So that's really nice. Let's head over here. Magnetic Cavern. B4. B4. Oh, what we got here? Ooh, new enemies, twin snakes. Uh, just vanilla, kind of sloppy enemies. Nothing big, not too much HP. Uh, yeah, it's just bio. When in doubt, bio. Let's see. See, even Sid's putting work in. That's nice. Come on, you could have had the healing staff restored just a little bit more than that. Come on, that's just minuscule. I guess they didn't want to make it abusive or anything, but I like abusive. If it's in the game, why not use it? Alright. See how much MP we get. Not bad, not bad. Oh! He used slow. Who? Yeah, in that battle, Sussel gains a level. Gets a little bit better. Getting stronger. Yeah. Sorry about that, viewers. I recently rocked Rocky not long ago and still made it. Crap! I actually missed an enemy encounter here. Um, there's an enemy here called Mind Flayers. They're not as strong as some of the other Mind Flayers in other Final Fantasy games, but. Eh. They have Mind Blast. Paralyzed. It's kind of annoying. No instant death, thank God. Mini! I shall call him Mini Ogre. Let's get some healing on. Yeah, let's just take out the cave naga once since the ogre is basically nothing. Right, let's do some osmosis. Let's see if we can get our MP back. Yeah, watch this. Nice. <laughs> wow, look at that damage. I told you, man. It's strong against um, giant enemies. And after that battle, Sid gains a level and... Really? 3 XP? Short? Really? And we get an emergency exit. That will become useful shortly. Shortly. And, ugh. Cave bats. Worst encounter ever! Thank God it's preemptive strike. It's okay, we have the power of Firaga. Burning down the house. Poof. And after that battle, Tella will gain a level, but not get much better, so... Yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay, let's see what's in this room over here. Yay, we get a save point. Save point, mm, middle of a dungeon. I'm smelling a boss fight. So, let's take a nap. Rest up. Ah, relax. So we can prepare for... Our next encounter. But can we rescue the Earth Crystal? Can we defeat the Dark Elf? Will we get Rosa back? Find out next time. Let's play Final Fantasy IV. So Shadowblade 730, and take it easy.
Peace.